I'm going to be a softy. It's a bit windy up there this morning, so I'm going to hold on the roof, wait for some deliveries that are coming in, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to make, or try and make, a slate cutter. Stick around, and I'll show you how we get on. If you've been watching the roofing, I've been using the handheld slate cutters and I've managed fine and they're adequate for most jobs. If you're gonna do lots of repeat cuts then you can get one of these, which is a big slate guillotine. Now since you lovely people have been ordering lots of our DIY chalkboards, I need to make lots of repeat cuts and for that, we need to make a jig. Now this is gonna be a no welding project because Frankly, I can't be bothered to get it all out. Now, if you look at this type, it's fine for just cutting a slate down the middle or whatever you need to do, but it, all it's got is a slot that the blade goes through. I really want it to be a flat bed so I can put up sock blocks and make repeat cuts. Well that gives us the bed and the cutting fence on the back there and what I now need to do is make the actual guillotine and I think the key here is not to allow any play in the blade or as minimal as possible so we've got the 12 inch is or 300 mil cut that I really wanted to achieve so now we need to find a way of putting a pivot point here to cut through. And I think the best way to do that, I've got a bit of angle here either one piece or even two and then we'll drill through there and put a bolt and washers or something like that. Let's give it a go.
Well, I'm not particularly mechanically minded or an engineer, but I think this could work. I wasn't quite sure where to put pivot point because some of the models that I was looking at have them above, some below, gone for below. Now these two angles are particularly tight and that was kind of intentional because I wanted this to not have too much slop in it sideways, but I might have to adjust those screws a little bit. And as you can see, it pivots at, I guess the bottom, yeah, very bottom corner there which means that we should only have to lift it up about that much to get the slate under. And I'm not sure how much this curve's gonna help, but I've done it anyway. Um, it probably could have started here, might have helped. Now, what do you think? Do we wanna do a test cut first, or do we wanna make sure it's all clean, sanded and painted? Let's do a test cut. All right, what have we got? We've got a new, new Spanish slate which are a bit thicker these are the new ones that have gone on the roof this just happens to be a broken one so we'll test that out but first let's try one of the old Welsh slates which is what we need to cut down to make all these gifts with slates you cut from the back to give you the ribbon edge on the front if that's what you're after so that's our fence at the back here we go not really cutting is it Have we wasted an hour or two of our time? Is the bed flexing, I wonder? I've now installed a couple of pieces on the bottom just to take the, the dip that had formed out of the plywood bed. Because I cut that slot in there, there was a bit of give in it, so that may or may not have been the issue. Next thing I can try is to sharpen the blade a little bit, but let's try it again. Definitely cuts okay at the front edge. Let's try sharpening it up. Maybe more leverage. Seems to work better. Yeah, they're quite curved all the way to the back. Most of it I thought through okay. I think this bed was nice and firm and hard and what I did just try is putting down a piece of steel up to the gap because I thought maybe it's just there was still a bit of a, a give in that wood. That gave a cleaner cut actually but it still only cuts about four or five inches and then it it's just too hard to get through and if you look at a lot of the guillotines you end up using them like you cut and then slide it forward a bit cut again. So the idea that it's just going to shear through like it would with a paper guillotine is not really the case. Sometimes it's good to show your failures. I can see where I went wrong. You're dancing. Yeah. You go back in and dance and then I'll just finish up in here. I was hoping for a different outcome there. I was hoping that it was going to work and that was just going to speed things up and I could use a stop block and do repeat cuts. But it wasn't to be, so we've just gone back to the handheld cutters. You know, I could have used a slate axe, I could have bought a guillotine, but I've now got muscles in my hand that I didn't know existed. Uh, but anyway, the, the cutting is done. We had, I don't know, about 60 or 70 orders to get through. Um, so it took its time, but we're, we're finally there and they'll be going out this week. I think the issue is this fence. You can't make a cut, slide the slate forwards make another cut and, and chop your way through. I was under the assumption it was just gonna shear through the whole thing, but that wasn't the case. Anyway, I'm not quite sure if this has got a purpose anymore, but maybe the plywood base, it's nice and flat. We've got a square fence, we can use it for something else. Ah, oh, such a shame, but never mind. We live and learn. There's a little insight into some of the fails behind the scenes. Needless to say, we have actually got a decent process now for getting all of these chalkboards made up. A simple little table here with some stop blocks, a fence at the back there to make all of these repeat holes for the drilling. Uh, so Joe's been doing that. We, or I say we, Joe crashed through all of that in a couple of hours and then they went upstairs to her space where she's got the vinyl cutter and she's been doing all of that ready for the personalization. Also if you follow us on Instagram you'll know that we've had all the lead started on the bay window 
It's really impressive. Can't wait to share that on here. So that'll be one of the next videos to come out. Here's a very small sneak peek now to show you what we've been up to. I'm also making a start on the chimneys this week and that'll be the last little bit so I can finish the slates round. And I also got the ridge tiles on, so lots to come on the roof. As always, a huge thank you to our patrons. You can head over there, find out more about how you can support the channel that way. The chalkboards have all sold out. That was it, that was one batch wonder. There are a few mugs left if you do want an extra Christmas present this year. But that's it, thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time. A really simple setup here with some stop blocks and a fence to make all those repeat cuts, uh, repeat hole little, repeat drills, drilling holes. Simple little table here on this little uh, drill, just so we can make all those repeat cuts, holes, drills. Simple little table here with a fence and some stop blocks. <laughs> if only they knew what went on behind the camera. You just watching, were you? Well, you didn't cut any slates, did you? Sorry. Say bye. Bye.